Hello everyone! In this episode of the series Learn SAP in 5 minutes, we will see how to modify standard transaction via transaction and screen variant. Hello to all of you! So today, we will see what is a transaction and screen variant. Indeed, throughout your life as a SAP consultant or user, you will realize that some features, some SAP transactions, do not match perfectly with your business needs. Of course, there is the case that consists in asking for specific transactions and development, but when it is simply a modification of design to make some fields mandatory or hide them, set default values, etc., there is an easier and faster way to make these changes via what we call transactions and screen variants. The big advantage, in addition to the ease of implementation, is the ability to create user groups that will have these particular layouts, unlike others, while using the standard SAP transaction. To do this, let's go to the transaction SHD0 and press enter. And now, we are in the transaction and screen variants. Here, we need to specify which transaction we want to modify. For our example, I will choose the transaction MB21. And before doing the modification in the transaction, I just want to show you the standard transaction with another window. And here I press MB21, I press enter. And now I'm here in the create reservation initial screen. So you can see in some information, the base date, the movement type, the plant and so on. I press enter and now I am in the, um, in the view to create reservation. I have the header part here with the call center and so on. And here the information about the material, quantity, etc. And here you can see the checkbox movement, movement allowed to authorize the good issue of your part. Sometimes the business needs to modify some standard transaction for a specific business case. And for our example, the business want to hide this part. To do this, we can go back in the SHD0 transaction. And here we write the standard transaction code and we press enter. And here you can see that the standard transaction is recognized by SAP, create reservation. And now we can go in the standard variant view here and the variant group. Hi there. Let me interrupt you for five seconds. If you are interested in our content, don't forget to like the video, to subscribe and to activate the bell in order to be notified each time we will publish a new training video about SAP. Thank you very much for your support and enjoy the video. The first thing to do is to create here the group name. So for our example, we can write ZMB21. And with this group, you can assign some user to your group name. So with this assignment, you can authorize some people to see and use the variant that you will create afterwards and also you can assign some screen to your transaction so we can press enter and now you can see that sap has create here transaction variant zmb21 mb21 it is simply the concatenation between your group name and the transaction code here after doing that, we can create here and now I can save and go in the transaction variant here. Now we will assign the screen variant to the transaction code. And to do this, we can click on the create button. And now you can see that SAP has launched the transaction just as in standard way. We can see here the first information, the base date, the movement time, and so on. And 
If I press on enter, you can see that SAP asked me to confirm the different entries in the screen. You can see the different information here. So the different fields are already filled. You can see here the field base checkbox. In fact, the field that you can see here. And you can, of course, propose to hide the, the, the information, to require the field and so on. If everything is okay for you, you can here continue. And of course, I need to specify a name. I can write ZMB21 underscore 001, for example, and I can continue. And we are now in the second screen to create specifically the reservation. And in this screen, for the business needs, we want to hide here the checkbox movement allowed. So we can press on enter like this and you have the second screen here. So I can simply write ZMB21 underscore 002 for the second screen. And then we can check here. So find the checkbox. And when we have find the checkbox, we can hide the checkbox like that. And if everything is okay for you, you can exit and save. SAP propose you um, a view with your two different screen and you can simply save. SAP ask you to transport the information. So I choose a package here. I make the transport and I need to do the transport for the two different screen. So the first one, and then the second one. Yes, the second one now. And then transaction variant and screen variant were saved. I can go back and you can see now assign screen variant for the specific transaction variant. Here, our two screen. The last step is to assign user to this specific transaction variant. To do this, you need to write here the username and click to assign. You can now see that it is assigned to me for the transaction. And here I can set proposal. And when I want to go here in the transaction now, so I will choose MB21 and press enter. You can see now that the field is hide for me. And you can assign this to everybody you need to hide the checkbox. And to go back, it is really easy. You choose the username, you delete the assignment, reset proposal, and then if I go back again in the transaction, press enter, enter again, you can see that now the checkbox is visible. Thank you for watching this video. Don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel if you like our content and to visit our website to learn more. See you soon.